Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today, we're going to talk about iPerf 3 versus iPerf 3. Yep, that's not a typo. And I'm, I'm going to jump right into it because, you know me, I don't like to gab a lot at the beginning of these things. We, we really don't need a lot of preface. So iPerf 3, I'm surprised how many people still don't know about it. That's been around for a really long time. Really neat little utility. Uh, it'll measure bandwidth, packet loss, jitter, that kind of stuff. They're... Um, it comes on multiple platforms. I'm trying not to ramble on about iPerf3 too much. The, the links will be in the in the write-up if you want to go get it, if you've never seen it before. But all you need to know is once you run it, uh, or running it, iPerf-S will start up a server. And then iPerf-C and the server name or IP address will connect to that server and run the test. That's it. And that'll get you started. All right. There's tons of videos on iPerf. I've done a bunch of them on my site and my channel as well. So go help yourself. Let's go, let's go look at the lab. So we have a, a simple lab today because the point of the lab is to measure the performance of various devices over various network technologies. And the point of it is not so much to say, oh, that's slow and that's fast, that's no good and that's good. That's not the point. The point is to do this at work or wherever you want to do it before you have a problem. Right, And you need to find out the limitations of your tools, the limitations of your network, Wi-Fi, copper, fiber, whatever it happens to be, before you have a problem. Because not all things will behave the same. And just because you have a one gig connection on a laptop or a desktop doesn't mean you're going to get a gig with iPerf or copying a file. So you need to learn that kind of stuff. So in this case, we've got a laptop. It's going to be a client. There's your dash C. There's the IP address of the server. In this case, it's a desktop. And that's it over here running the dash s command that I just talked about a moment ago. Two mystery boxes, and it, one has a native iPerf app, and I also put the Android Magic iPerf app here. And on the other one, we have the My Magic iPerf app as well. One is copper, one is Wi-Fi. So here's the problem, right? People want to do this, and they jump into the details real fast, and they get paralyzed with fear because they realize they don't know everything about everything, so what's the point of measuring the performance? Big mistake, right? Big mistake. You don't need to know what processes are running and CPU and hard drive and cable lengths and NICs and drivers and buffers and switch configurations and VLANs. and you don't, you don't need to know any of that. Just measure something. Just measure it. And if you don't like it, then you can start digging in. But no matter what, worst case scenario, let's just assume you're on gig Ethernet and you get 950 megabits per second and you're happy with that. Now you know it's 950 meg. Better yet, you know the server can handle 950 meg. You know the network can, and or routers if you traversed any. And the test unit can handle that. That's what's really important here. All right, so here we go. Methodology. This is the important part uh, because every tool is going to give you different numbers. You don't document the methodology and or tool. Nobody can ever duplicate it or help you out in the future. And that's what's kind of important. So the default's going to be 10 second duration. That is the command line default, and I'm just going to stick with it. On the iPerf client side, I told you just dash C, dash C and the IP of the server. It's going to be, do an upload test. For the download test, we simply do it dash uppercase or capital R, and you get your download test. I'm also going to add this dash P12, because I'm going to go 12 parallel sessions or multi-sessions, more than one session. I don't know how you want to say it. And that's because the box one magic box we're using at the bottom of the screen has its native iPerf app, which by default uses 12 sessions. So I'm trying to make things look similar. Then we record five measurements, drop the high, drop the low, average the three remaining numbers. Okay, so let's look at our numbers. LAN tests. So here's my laptop, my laptop, it's an Alienware. We've got all of our numbers here and the red ones are the ones we're discarding high and low. I got 761 megabits per second up, and my laptop got 794 megabits per second down. That's it. And this is where people make a mistake. Oh, why is it not 800? Why is it 900? Well, you know, why? Why? Don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just keep measuring. At the end of the exercise, if you say well, I can do better and you want to make a change, knock yourself out. At least you can compare it with a number now. Box two got 361 up and 252 down. All right. Again, we're not comparing laptops and Matt box two. We're not doing that. We're just finding out what their limits are. And when you get these numbers, you can make some pretty good 
assumptions. For example, this laptop got 761 up. This test tool got 361 up. Therefore, the 361 isn't due to the network or the server because look, we got 761 here, right? So you can really start to go, oh, one and one is two, pretty, pretty quick. Let's move on to the Wi-Fi results. And the Wi-Fi results, laptop 246 up. 253 up for Magic Box 1 with its native iPerf app. And then the Magic iPerf app was 256. Pretty close. All three of them, I think, are pretty close. Again, I'm not worried about, is it is it 802.11? Um, is it A, G, A, C? Like, I, I don't care. I don't care about any of that right now. Don't worry about it. Just keep writing the numbers down. Download. Laptops 376 down. 246 up. Box 1 is 4... 14 down and 381 down. So, I don't know. It depends on the variance that you're comfortable with. They're relatively close. But again, iPerf is free. You can put it on Mac, Linux, Android, Windows. There's no reason why you should not be using some sort of test tool in your environment. And when you test things locally, then you can find out what does it cost me to traverse that router, that firewall, that WAN link, that whatever, because it'll affect your performance, right? There are only so many bits per second you can put on the wire. So every time you're delayed within that second, you lose data, right? So that's it, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.